Chair now recognizes Ms. Wild for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Ms. I.G. Storch, um, I'd like to um, ask you a question. But first, let me just say I have the honor of representing a district that includes one of the largest Ukrainian-American populations of any community in the United States. And I suspect, although I haven't been here for every questioner's <coughs> um, comments, more than a few of us have claimed that, that distinction. But in my case, it's real. Um, and, and this community also happens to pay United States taxes. So they are taxpayers. Um, they understand just how vital the fight for Ukraine's territorial integrity and sovereignty and democracy truly is, not just for U Ukraine, but also for the United States. But they also want their tax dollars to be spent efficiently, and so do I. Um, they know that this effort to help the Ukrainian people has, in fact, been a model of efficiency. Um, we sometimes hear assistance to Ukraine described as constituting a blank check. Um, I think that far from a blank check, our support for the Ukrainian people has been an investment in the rules-based international order that is the foundation of our own national security. Um, but can you describe the importance of this investment, not just for Ukraine, but also for all of us here in the United States? How does it make us more secure? So thank, thank you for the question. Um, and uh, as has been alluded to by uh, both my colleagues, as IGs, we are very careful not to set policy or get involved in that aspect of things. We do oversight. The Congress sets policy. The administration sets policy. Right. And then we do oversight sure. to make sure it's being carried out. Have, having said that, uh, given the scope of, and I'll speak about the security assistance that's being provided, it's critically important that people see that there is oversight and the Congress know that there is oversight to ensure to your, to your constituents' concerns that those taxpayers' dollars are spent properly and as intended. And, and that's what we're doing. And just to be perfectly clear for people who may be listening who don't fully understand this, your title, Inspector General, that your job is oversight. Is that correct within the administration of the dollars that are um, being appropriated by Congress and being spent towards Ukraine? That, that's absolutely correct. And, and in fact, when you say within the administration, we're appointed, or in my case, appointed by a particular president, but we're appointed without regard to partisan affiliation. It's right in the statute. And sort of in the, again, in the world of strange things, I actually have been appointed by presidents of both political parties to be an IG in my prior job in this one. And so at some level, I personify that, but that's true across the community, um, which I've been honored to serve in for a long time. That work is done in a nonpartisan way. Uh, what we do is of too much interest to people, um, so we have to make sure that there's never any question about our work or uh, where it's coming from, so we're very careful. So about let that. me just switch gears slightly because um, I, I, you know, you, in your testimony, you described the process of conducting oversight of aid at the speed of war. Um, can you describe your relationships with Ukrainian officials in the process of how you work with them under these circumstances to do this oversight? Sure. So as has been, thank you for the question, as has been uh, testified to previously, that, that's still uh, in the early stages, I would say, but we've gotten good responses and we're working to develop those relationships, building on the existing uh, relationships we have in the region, um, uh, both through the embassy and otherwise. And so um, we, we do have, um, you know, good uh, relationships that we've been developing, and we're looking forward to continuing those, particularly, as was mentioned, uh, by, the pos by the ability to put people in country, so that looking to the future, we're there in, at the embassy developing those relationships, meeting with counterparts in the Ukrainian government and elsewhere on an ongoing basis when we do this. So overnight. let me just ask you this. Have you encountered any obstruction, concealment, do you have any concerns about um, that, that, that have arisen in your oversight capacity in terms of the relationship with Ukraine and how the money is being used? So we have not encountered any, any such problems at all. Um, as was mentioned um, in our uh, relationships within the United States, we've gotten you know, great support within the DOD. I think they also understand the importance of this, um, and we appreciate that. And with the Ukrainians, uh, we've not encountered any problems at that time. Though, again, this is we're, we're going to keep moving forward, and we're going to hold them to that. Thank you very much. I yield back. 